What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Kai Pie back again with another freaking video. This video is definitely going to be deep. It's a topic that I personally feel is not talked about enough. I just want to spread more enlightenment on this topic. Today's video is going to be about narcissistic parents or a parent that you're really, really close with or like you had obviously no option but to be close to them. And some tips on how to cope with it, especially if you are a adult. Yeah, we're gonna get into it. But if you are new to the channel, hey girl, hey, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. So first things first, what is a narcissistic parent? What does that really look like to the inner world? But I'm talking to the outside world, but it's very hard for a lot of people to see narcissistic parents because of course they're gonna hide what they do like that's just what it is they're gonna try their best to hide it at least some signs of a narcissistic parent is guilt they try to put a lot of guilt onto their children and it's just not fucking cool like overall like it's just not cool to put guilt on a child that is looking for guidance and has no clue what to do in this world you know they feel a lot like the parent feels guilty but puts it on the child because of whatever past decisions they made you know narcissistic parents have a lot of anger they harbor a lot of anger and with that that's how a lot of children start to become angry because when you see your parent upset and angry all the time you're like damn is it because of me is it because of something i did and then it's like as a child or adolescent you start to think like well i really only go to school <laughs> and like ask for like toys and like simple things and food and stuff and like this is not something that children can control so much pressure like narcissistic parents or parent they put a lot of pressure onto their kids a lot of pressure to be perfect to not make a mistake to not be human to and a lot of narcissistic parents, like, all they really care about is, like, worldly things. So, like, money and monetary value things and cars and whatever the case may be. Like, stability. That's the only thing that they care about. It's really a domino effect because it all starts from somewhere. And that thing is accountability within a person. To say, okay, one, it starts bef way before the child is born, okay? So decisions that were made before the child was born that they didn't personally forgive themselves for or heal from and show themselves grace for those things but also sometimes it can be because of how they were raised so like it just depends like on the relationship they had with their mom and their dad so now it's like okay i'm pregnant or i'm ex we expecting a child if you know if it's a dad and it's like fuck like you know like that's how a lot of people look at it and they don't want to be real, but that's how they look at it when a child is conceived sometimes. 
another way to know if you have a narcissistic parent is if they make you feel less than or if they make you a reflection of them. Um, a lot of the times, like I was kind of stating earlier, you know, parents that didn't really have goals before they got pregnant or if they did have some type of dream in mind, you know, let's just say before a mom got pregnant, she wanted to be a famous actress or something like that. Well, if she got pregnant, she gonna look at you as like, you the reason why I wasn't an actress. And it's just gonna always be that constant cycle of like, you fucked my life up, you fucked my life up, you fucked my life up. And that's not cool. Because at the end of the day, I don't care if you're pregnant, if you're not pregnant, or whatever the case may be, this is your life. You have every right to move the way how you want to move, even with a child in your life. If anything, that can make your life better because now you're actively showing your child that there's more to life than a nine to five. There's more to life than beating yourself up about past decisions or mistakes. There's more to life than dysfunction there's more to life than not taking accountability being sad and angry all the time being stuck and stagnant and complacent baby take your child on an adventure the fuck even if y'all broke in the process babe you were gonna be broke anyway if you didn't come from from wealth or you know like a that type of dynamic with the family you were gonna struggle anyway yeah. So take your child along the journey with you. Be creative with your child. If not, your child is going to feel a lot of resentment. If your parent makes you feel like you're a resentment or like you were a mistake or anything of that nature, you're dealing with someone that is toxic. You are dealing with someone that has an ego as big as the fucking earth and you need to get away from them period well, another one another one of how you know you're dealing with a narcissistic parent or parents is that when they see you and this is more so like for my teenagers and adults when they see you thriving or they see you doing something that they conditioned in you but they really wanted it for themselves but they put they kept sticking it on your back and leeching it on your back like it was really your personality this is how you really want to live your life and it's really not but you did it anyway because who who ever wants to disappoint their parents or make their parent feel like not proud if your parent is like you did something that they really wanted you to do like, let's just say they wanted you to go to college. They wanted you to get a master's and a doctorate in surgery. I don't know. I'm just hypothetically bringing something up. And you did it. You accomplished it. You, you, you went to school for 10 plus years, took out umpteen loans, did whatever you had to do, but you knew that that's what would make your parents happy. Now they're happy. But you've graduated and you're like, I'm not happy. And that's because you did it 
for a narcissistic environment in a narcissistic relationship. They want you to live through them. That's how you know you have, you're dealing with that type of individual. And so you probably never even wanted to be a surgeon. You just did it because you wanted to make your parent or your parents proud of you. But here's the gag. Let's say you make a mistake or you, you know, you're human. So something happens not according to plan because life is going to forever be life. Okay. Automatically. They are downing you. They are looking, talking about you bad. They looking at you crazy. They going off on you. They are so disappointed. They going crazy. Like literally all of your successes and all of your accomplishments. And you were doing this for them. That's the crazy part is they are all of a sudden switched up on your ass. Now you're feeling bad on the inside. You're feeling like the failure. You're feeling disappointed in yourself. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Now, I want to go into the ways to cope. Number one, and this has personally helped me um, through my journey and process of navigating through this is therapy find you a therapist that you can talk to and i'm not talking about a friend i'm not talking about another family member because that can get a whole bunch of other extra shit started and you don't want to deal with that so i would say seeking out a professional therapist and sometimes this takes a couple shots i didn't find my perfect therapist for me until Oh my God, maybe my third or fourth shot. So you you have to be mentally strong. You gotta be mentally in it. And you also can't care about what other people are going to think about you reaching out for professional help if you need it. Because you gotta think like, this is a serious thing. This is a serious issue that can affect your future relationships your love life, your future children, or your current children that you have right now. This can affect your work, your money, all types of stuff, your whole life as a whole. So therapy really, really, really helps, really helps. So I will recommend it so that way you can vent, you can talk to an unbiased party and just really 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 get to the root because with narcissistic parents they're not going to tell you what you want to hear babe and that's just the honest to god truth i would say eight out of ten narcissistic parents change for their children only when there is also professional help but if you expect them to do it by themselves and just have this revelation just because they're their child it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen or let me know in the comments if if you have had a you know this type of situation and they did it you know i would love to hear it another way to cope is remove and this is the hardest one this is the hardest one i'm not gonna lie but removing yourself and if you don't fully feel comfortable with removing yourself completely is distance 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 don't answer the phone as much as you used to for this person don't feel like you're obligated to pull up all the time if they need help health wise you know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they are our parents. So we're not finna just leave them down bad like that. But anything that's just not, anything emotional, I would leave. I would leave it. 
I believe it. And I know that you probably thinking like, Kaya, what? Like, so now my it's supposed to be a business transaction or something? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying protect your peace. Know how to deal with people in a healthy way. So that way, certain situations and, and, and arguments and conversations that go left don't come back to bite you in the ass. Like, keep things very black and white when it comes to these relationships. Be a little bit, if not a lot of bit, <laughs> unavailable. The reason why I say this is because the hurt is so deep and the healing has to start somewhere and i personally feel like narcissistic parents or parent needs to understand that when you're not in their life and you're not around that makes them look internally because people love to play victim they love to put the blame game on somebody else instead of actually taking a look in the mirror and saying, oh shit, like I'm really fucked up. And I really fucked up my relationship with my child. And I feel like the only way that they can even possibly gather that thought is if you, if you leave. Just like a relationship. So they have to realize like you were a blessing. They have to realize that it's people in this world right now that are begging to have children and cannot because of fertility issues or some type of health disorder or something. Like they can't even have children naturally, but they had you and you were a blessing. So where is the disconnect? And the disconnect is within them. So you keep enabling them to not realize that you are the blessing in this whole situation. You are the prize. You are the gift. You are pure. You got to leave it. You got to leave it. And I know all of this stuff is easier said than done, y'all. Trust me. I know. I know. I've cried I've cried so many nights so many mornings so many days because I am a survivor of a narcissistic parent but you can overcome it it just takes time it takes healing it takes discipline it takes what we say now standing on business Stomping on business, fuck standing on business. And everything's gonna be okay. It is. Everything is gonna be okay. But guys, I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want a part two. I can definitely make a part two if you guys want. Um, but I'm gonna leave it here. So y'all leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on so you know when I post. And I love y'all so, 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 so much. And thank you for the support. I will see y'all in the next one.